Hello everybody, I'm back. We're going to be doing the YouTube weekly specials, uh, the video tips of the week, tips of the month, maybe a couple of weeks, depending on how many we get done. We're going to start that all over again. I know you guys are missing it. I keep getting comments and things have finally settled down. I've opened the new Sports Performance Center and we're going to be able to get things rolling. The first series that I want to bring to you guys is a whole series on hamstring stretching. Uh, we've done stuff on posture in the past and we're going to get back into that, uh, especially the performance posture, but I want to talk to you about hamstring stretching, specifically um, a, the straight-legged hamstring stretch versus the bent-legged hamstring stretch. Now typically what we do when most people are doing their hamstring stretches and trainers are out working with their clients, we get them in this position, we keep the knee straight, we get the back with a neutral lumbar arch, and we lean forward into that. <coughs> the straight leg stretch is, it, it, it is a very important stretch. But what happens is the stretch tends to concentrate in the back of the knee because of the tight fascia. There's also tight nerve, there's a nerve stretch going on. So what happens is when we do the leg, the straight leg stretch, we don't necessarily allow the stretch to get into the muscle because these other tight tissues restrict the stretch from getting there. So a way to avoid that is to use a towel roll under the knee when we're doing this stretch so that we can bend the knee and take some of the tissue tension off of the tight hamstring, I'm sorry, off the tight nerves or the tight fascia that might be back there and allow the stretch to actually get into the mid-substance of the muscle. So, what I recommend is you still need to do the straight leg hamstring stretch because you do need to stretch those other structures, but realize that you've also got to do the bent leg stretch because you, will, you really want to get the, the stretch into the meat of the hamstring, which is where a lot of these muscle pulls occur. So, we bend the knee, and you can put a small ball, a rolled up towel like I have, Put it under your knee, assume your good neutral arch position, and then lean into the stretch. And you'll notice that the stretch changes. The effect of the stretch changes from behind the knee to more into the mid-substance of the muscle. You can also vary your foot position based on which head of the hamstring you might want to emphasize with your stretch. So I recommend that you do it with your knee bent and with your foot in the upright position, and then maybe turned out to... 10 o'clock and then maybe turned into 2 o'clock while you do the stretch to really hit all the different aspects of the hamstring. Thanks again for coming back. We got a lot more, many more videos coming at you. Uh, we're going to start, like I said, we're going to finish up with a hamstring series and then get into a whole bunch of other stuff. So look me up on Facebook, Rick Stebbins Performance Therapy. Also look for my protein, Pro Strength, at, uh, on Facebook. Like us, say hello, send me an email. Love to hear from you. Thanks again.